Hi guys, in this video I want to discuss my top five fat loss principles. Now if you follow these five principles you will see success. And the reality is a lot of them are not necessarily sexy or different principles, they're just the fundamental principles that are critical within any fat loss phase. Number one is you need to be within an energy deficit. So as I've discussed before in lots of my other content, there needs to be an energy deficit for fat loss to occur. So essentially you need to be consuming less calories than you're burning. So unfortunately there seems to be a popular trend in the fitness industry then where people are just suggesting just eat quote unquote clean, which doesn't really mean anything or well, their perception is just eliminate processed food but the reality is an energy deficit is required for fat loss so a good example is if you eat quote unquote clean or non-processed food but you just eat 10,000 calories you're not going to be in an energy deficit you're actually going to gain body fat so there needs to be a consideration of the dosage and the quantity and the absolute calories and macronutrients within those foods to make sure you're actually in an energy deficit second principle is make sure you're consuming sufficient protein anywhere between 2 and 3.1 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight should be sufficient within a fat loss phase now there's a couple of caveats to this firstly if you're a relatively lean individual those figures will be good but if you're a male above 20% body fat or approximately above 20% body fat I would set your protein target based upon your goal body weight otherwise protein will be set far too high for this individual likewise for females if you're a female above 25 percent body fat i would again set your protein targets against your goal body weight otherwise protein will come out too high next principle number three make sure you're following a progressive resistance program this is mandatory within a fat loss phase so the reason why weight training should be the foundation of your routine within a fat loss phase is to help preserve lean muscle mass so if you just perform lots of cardio create the energy deficit of your food you're going to lose a lot of muscle mass and ultimately you're not going to achieve the physique or figure you desire so make sure that weight training is the foundation of your routine within a fat loss phase next principle number four is make sure you're measuring your progress the goal should be to use as many measuring tools as possible to objectively gauge your progress so use body weight use the uh, girth measurements around your stomach chest back shoulders arms legs etc use body fat percentage if you have this available to you use photos as well use all of these tools the goal is to measure these at least once per week which brings me on to my next principle which you should be seeing 0.5 to 1 percent weight loss per week this is a really good target to aim for because it, this allows you to better maintain muscle mass within the fat loss phase of so your going at any more than this there's a good chance you'll be losing muscle mass as well which obviously isn't desirable so those are the five principles in addition to those five principles the real key with fat loss is making changes when you reach a plateau so realize stagnation and progress is perfectly normal that's your cue to either add more cardio i.e increase expenditure making sure the weight training is still the foundation of your routine and or decreasing calories from carbohydrates or fats protein will stay constant within the fat loss phase then remeasure your progress until you reach another plateau and then repeat the process make another change hopefully this has been useful if you're still yet to subscribe to the channel please do as i've got lots more content coming like the video if you've enjoyed it and i'll speak to you soon take care